Thanks for joining me on my next video. In this video, I'm just going to uh, unbox a water ridge, one piece toilet that I purchased at Costco. Um, here's a rating for it. It's 1000 G's, maximum rating for flushing waste. There is a, a website that rates toilets and you can see how it compares to other types of toilets. It says it has a powerful flush using less water, 4.8 liters per flush or 1.2 gallons per flush. What I like about it is that it's at chair height, so it's a lot easier getting on and off of it. It has a self-closing seat. That alone is not a cheap option. And it comes with the mounting hardware, including wax ring and connection for your water supply. It has a five-year limited warranty, and um, it claims it's a slip free seat and supports a 12 inch rough in. So this is what it looks like, picture on the box. They also have the two piece toilet, which is about uh, $100 Canadian at Costco. And the one piece here is about 175 ish. So for that price, it's not a bad deal. What I'm replacing is this uh, Caroma toilet. It was installed back in 2004. It's a dual flush. What I don't like about it is the siphoning action of the toilet. It doesn't seem to have a lot of oomph. And as a result, the bowl does uh, tend to get dirty. So it's, it's it lived its life. It's uh, just about 17 years old now. And uh, didn't really have any problems with it other than the fact that uh, it doesn't really flush that great on either half or full setting. Full setting is about six liters per flush. Half is about three liters. So I'm going to replace this one with the uh, Costco one and uh, hope for the best. This toilet uh, did cost me about $600 Canadian back in 2004. So I have nothing to lose spending just under 200 for a brand new toilet. And uh, having bought it at Costco, I don't have any concerns about if I have any issues that I can either return it or get proper warranty for it. So I'm just going to open this up. I've already cut the plastic. Got my assistant here to help me out. Alright. So here's the, the lid with the dual flush. So here's the next box. Inside this box appears to be the, the seat, the self-closing seat. My assistant's going to help me remove the box. Thank you. And the plastic. And the protective cover on it. There you go. So here's the seat. This is an elongated toilet. And so that's what it looks like. It's supposed to be self closing, which it is. And here's a plastic bag that came with the seat and includes the mounting hardware. Okay, here's the toilet itself. It's actually well packaged, as you can see. There's quite a bit of packaging in here. There's the toilet, water ridge and the tank so it's one piece so what i like about it there's less seams for any dirt to get trapped inside that's why i opted to spend a few bucks more and get the uh, the one piece over the uh, two piece there's the guts of the tank on the inside as you can see um, it's pretty straightforward it doesn't appear to be insulated the tank so hopefully there's no condensation build up so I removed the toilet from the box that it came in, and there's just one more box in here. I'm assuming this is going to contain the, uh, the wax ring and any additional hardware required to mount the toilet. So these are the caps that go over the toilet to cover the, the bolts that are used to mount the toilet. So here's your water connector that it came with. Mounting bolts and washers. For the uh, toilet to mount onto the, uh, the toilet flange and I'm assuming inside here is going to be the 
the wax ring, which is used to mount the toilet. So, indeed, here it is. Here's your wax ring. So, as you can see, for you get quite a bit for your money. Um, one piece toilet, wax ring, water connection, and what have you, all for a good price. So I'm not promoting Costco or Water Ridge. I'm just uh, giving you an idea of what uh, what to expect if you do decide to purchase this toilet. Um, I'm not going to show the installation of the toilet. I just want to show the uh, Water Ridge in terms of uh, what you get in the box. And uh, once I do have it connected, I will uh, continue the video and just show you how it flushes. I'm just going to show you uh, the view from the sides of the toilet so you see what it looks like. Here's the front. The other side is exactly the same, so I'm not going to film that. Here's the back of the toilet. Not, uh, not covered or anything, so hopefully, you know doesn't show too much. What I do want to point out, obviously the toilet I have here is a nicer finish. As you can see, it's all the way around finished. So obviously this toilet was expensive back in the day. What I do want to point out is the toilet height. I think I mentioned it earlier, it's chair height. This is my old toilet, which sits about, about 15 inches off the ground. And this toilet sits almost 17 inches so it's a little bit higher up as you can see which is going to make getting on and off the toilet a lot easier less strain on your knees so i definitely gonna enjoy that so i've installed the toilet um, it's pretty straightforward the instructions that come with it are very clear some good visuals as well as the instructions i did change the water connection um, and use the one that did come with the toilet. Uh, the one I had there was quite old, almost 20 years old, so I thought I'd change it. Um, one thing, you might want to connect it, this to the tank before you actually put the toilet in place. It was a little bit awkward for me to get back here and try to connect it. And then you can connect this part afterwards. To remove the seat, it's quite simple. Just squeeze this button here and pull up, and I'll demonstrate that. So squeeze the button and then pull up and then to replace it there's two holes on the bottom so want to make sure you line those two holes with the holes here and that's it just want to mention as well that uh, earlier when I showed you the uh, side and rear view of, of the toilet that uh, the back didn't look that great but uh, as you can tell you can't really see it from here anyway, so it's really close to the wall. So it's not like you have to be concerned that it wasn't uh, finished nicely. So it looks fine. Overall, it's a half uh, decent looking toilet for the price I paid. And I like the fact that it sits up higher, so it'll be a lot easier to use. So the instructions, I read them. Basically, this is your full flush and that is your half flush. So what I do like about this, as I mentioned, it's a self-closing seat. Yeah, like all self-closing seats, it does take some time to come down. And there's the lid. Well, at least it's not making noise in the middle of the night. But uh, it's one hell of a wait before you flush to get that seat down. So I guess self-closing seats has its pros and cons. Uh, one thing I do like uh, about this toilet, if you can see, there's a lot of water actually in the bowl. My previous toilet did not have a lot of water, and as a result, uh, the bowl would always get dirty. So just to show you the flush, here's a full flush. Much better uh, suction than my previous toilet. Just going to wait for it to fill up, and then I'll do a uh, half flush. Then I'll demonstrate with some paper, just put some uh, toilet paper in there and then show you the flush with a full and a half. So I just threw some paper in there. I'm going to do a half flush, see how that goes. Not bad. This time I'm going to do a full flush. And 
seem to have any problems whatsoever. So only time will tell how good this toilet is, uh, how durable, how the uh, toilet bowl, if it stays clean. I do have six liter toilets uh, throughout the house as well and I do find those uh, don't have as much maintenance in terms of cleaning the, the bowl as often as I had to with the Caroma toilet that I had uh, just because it didn't have a good suction of a flush and didn't have enough water in the bowl to begin with. So this one seems to have a fair amount of water in the bowl, which definitely helps with uh, keeping the bowl clean. So uh, that's uh, my review of the uh, Costco uh, Water Ridge uh, one-piece toilet. Um, thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.